What's up, y'all? Um, so, yeah, happy weekend. Tonight we have a show at the... Where am I at, actually, here? Hold on. This thing is all loose. Okay, anyways, I don't know. There's, like, a little wobbly thing. Um, yeah, so this weekend... Uh, I chilled all day yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. I relaxed. I had uh, my cousin Herman come over. What up, Herman? I know he checks out these channels or these videos sometimes. Um, uh, he came over, uh, hung out with my son and I. We did some painting, went out to dinner, stuff like that. Started talking to him, uh, you know, uh, just about comedy goals. Started talking to him about YouTube automation um having fun with that so yesterday i did spend a big chunk of time i worked on some editing stuff um right now i'm about to do a little editing not on uh kidder or anything like that but uh on these flyers I'm t i i gave myself to the weekend to get these flyers done i've got to get them over to miguel so i'm gonna spend the next hour i think it might take me another hour to get these flyers done it's for uh us potentially selling a tour um Maybe a USO tour. We don't know yet, but I got to get them these mock flyers up so we can get them over to our manager and so we can uh, see if we can get us sold, like get us out there and get some shows sold. Uh, so I'm going to work on that and then I'm going to go back to the YouTube automation stuff. I did work on it last night and that was really cool. Uh, it was very eye-opening and interesting. Uh, a little bit of a learning curve trying to figure out how to automate, like I'm using AI to generate e like trivia questions. I'd pick a category and just start like pumping out very specific niche categories and then using AI to generate my trivia. And then found out that Canva, which I've been using for a few years now, makes videos. I didn't even know you can make videos in there using their, using their format you're making videos and then you can make bulk videos. So I was like, holy cow. So I popped out 60 videos in a matter of minutes, 60 videos in a matter of minutes. I'm like, holy shit. The longest part of the process was downloading it to my computer. So big learning curve. I am now going to start using that. Not for like all these like YouTube videos of the vlogging, like vlogging is different. But again, I created another channel called Inquisitive and it's quiz with the Q-U-I-Z because I love trivia. If you know me, I've, I've loved trivia for a long time. Anytime I can do trivia, I definitely want to jump in and, and, and do some fun trivia. I like different categories, Disney, music, music genres, movies, TV, pop culture, you name it, I love it. When I was doing my show during the pandemic, I had this online show where I'd have comedians and they would compete doing rounds of trivia for points and then the winner would walk away with some money, stuff like that. So uh, I was like, well, if I can do this YouTube automation and create quizzes and fun things for people to do, that'll be a fun like little side hustle for me. Uh, so I started doing that. Here you can see uh, some of my stuff that I was working on. So it was like YouTube automation. These are possible YouTube channels, things that I could work on. Uh, I love hiking. I love uh, learning about finance and investing and stuff like that. So a finance channel, uh, surviving the apocalypse. I always love that idea. Like, would you survive during the apocalypse? Do you know what I mean? Like, what would you do uh, if a zombie started eating your family? Like, how would you respond to it? So I think surviving the apocalypse is a cool channel. Not the cheesy shit people going out there and start wood. Uh, like, how do you start a fire? Like, I'm not talking about survival skills, but like specifically the apocalypse. Uh, journey through space. I love anything astronomy, uh, traveling the world, obviously public speaking tips because I was so afraid of public speaking. Uh, but then I conquered that fear through Toastmasters and, uh, joining all these like speech and debate teams and, and all these classes I did for public speaking. So, uh, you know, starting a channel there and then obviously YouTube automation, uh, to facilitate that, um, you know, this is like trivia. Okay. If I'm going to do trivia, what am I going to do? History, science, music, basically trivia pursuit, right? So, uh, I love that stuff. So if I can somehow make that a side hustle, if I spend a half hour a day, an hour a day, just pumping out content there, like what's gonna happen? I don't know. YouTube space is a very competitive space, but 
if I'm going to vlog and I'm spending all this time vlogging, what if I, uh, you know, uh, cut out 30 minutes a day, kind of like if you're going to go work out, right? If you want to get in shape, you have to carve out that 30 minutes a day to get in shape. So can I carve out 30 minutes a day to monetize other channels and make YouTube a full-time gig with my comedy? Like, the, you know, like to basically uh, complement my other job. So I just, you know, I'm not going to grip forever. It's back-breaking, bone-breaking work. And I'm getting older. I'm now 46 years old and I can't be doing that forever. But what I can do is use a camera. What I can do is lift a microphone. What I can do is speak and, and, and work on content that I love. And I love creating. I always have been a creator type, creating creative mind set. So how can I do it and do it in a fun way? And this is using technology. I've been making these AI videos on this channel just for fun. Like, ha, 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 AI, help me fix my life. And then AI backfires. But this is like, okay, YouTube automation, let me uh, play around with it. Holy shit, I didn't realize how powerful it was. All right, well, maybe it's something I start incorporating into my everyday life. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyways, tonight, I have a comedy show. I am with Stoner Rob, Kool-Aid, Shang. Uh, I think my buddy Miguel might be getting up. Like, we're going to go have a lot of fun, even though... You know, speaking of the apocalypse, it's raining outside. Oh my God, Los Angeles, the whole world's just down. It's so many, it's so funny. How many people have turned me down to come out to a show tonight? Because they're like, oh man, the weather's horrible. I think I'm going to stay in tonight. Really, folks? Really? Really? Whatever. Okay, I get it. Like, in LA, like, if it rains, there's hundreds of accidents. There's, there's just so many people who cannot drive in it for the life of them. Um, but I'm going to go. Even if there's only five people in the audience, there's only five people in the audience and I'm just going to talk to the audience. I'll go up with like five or six prompts, go up with a handful of jokes. And then I'm just going to explore like having a conversation with the audience. I'm not worried about killing it. If there's 10 people in the audience, five people in the audience. Now, if the room, if I get there and surprisingly is packed, I'm going to get ready to drop some A material on them. Uh, but I'm not expecting that because of the weather but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens uh if i get any fun crowd work or anything i'll drop it here obviously i'm not going to put my a material on my youtube channel i try not to uh but if i come up with some fun creative stuff to save the crowd and get some good material out of it i will be dropping it here in this video so stay tuned uh i've been doing some more of this youtube automation stuff for a couple hours i finished the flyers for miguel for this uh possible tour that we might go on um, so we can pitch that to the manager, our manager. Um, yeah, I ended up uploading 90 videos on YouTube in just a matter of like, I don't know, two hours, two and a half hours. That's pretty cool. Uh, I feel like the more I do it, just the faster I get pumping them up. Um, did a bunch of Disney trivia and then, uh, pop culture trivia. I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep messing around with that. Obviously, and just put a little bit of time in each week and see if it grows. Um, I am going to head off here pretty soon to go to the haha for this show. I hit up Stone and Rob this morning. Uh, sent on my guest list. I have a, a guest list. Hopefully, some people bought tickets too. We'll see who shows up in this rain. I mean, I can hear it. It's been pretty torrential all day, torrential rainfall. Um, as far as jokes, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I just have a feeling we're going to have like five audience members. I will be surprised if we fill up the room. I really will be. Just people are just dumb when it comes to driving in the rain. But if we get a good audience, great. If not, like I said earlier, I think I'm just going to kind of come out the gate doing some crowd work just talking um i'm gonna put a couple prompts in my head stuff i want to talk about and then like i think i'm just gonna like do a q a with the audience and see if i can drum up any jokes we'll see i don't know not really feeling motivated to drop a material in a room that's probably going to be less than half full you know what i'm saying um but yeah, I'm going to go get cleaned up. I'm thinking about going with my afro. I don't really feel like 
I don't really feel like putting my hair down. I'm just going to go. Now, we are doing the Ha Ha, which is owned by uh, Jack Assortian and his wife, Terry. And their son is Jack Jr., who's a comedian. Pretty funny freaking dude. I think he's funny. Um, and the last few years, he's been really hustling and, and blowing up. And he's got a big afro, big Armenian Mexican afro. Uh, last time I saw him at a club, <laughs> my hair was way bigger. And he said, uh, I look like, um, what's his name from Home Alone? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have the, the sticky bandits or wet bandits. He said I look like I forget. God, why can't I remember that guy's name? All of a sudden, uh, Harry. It's the one that goes Harry. Harry. Not the one who plays Harry, uh, but the other guy. Anyways, I think the rain is good for my afro. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna go with a guy hair like flying on my face. Um, I need to stop doing it. I'm like pulling my hair out, thinning it out even more. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with my hair like this. I don't give a shit. Not tonight. Not really. Anyways. Bye. <laughs> That's a hit pause. Hit pause. So uh yeah, so just hi, say hi. Hi. Yeah, so we uh our show got canceled tonight, so I got a message saying that the uh, comedy club was flooded. I guess there's leaking in the comedy club. It's been torrential rainfall for the last several hours. And super windy, all that crap. So, anyways, um, just watching TV. Watched a movie with my son. Now watching some TV with my wife. And that's a wrap on comedy day. Alright, bye!